It's Friday the 13th. What does Angry Allen think about that? What does he think about the Dallas Cowboys and the win a couple weeks ago to them? The bye week and the New York Giants? Find out next. All right, so the, yeah, today's the Allen segment, right? Yeah, yeah, we could put that in. Um, we'll probably show that tomorrow, but we'll definitely get the Allen um, segment out of the way today. So. Hi, how can I help you? Um, actually, I'll take uh, two polars. I'll take the, the cherry lime polars. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? We got Allen today. Make that three. I'm going to need three of those. Also, by the way, I'm <laughs> glad you're here. Alan is probably going to ask you for some shots or some beers, or he's going to ask for something to drink before his segment. Remind him when you go back behind the bar, please remind him he is not to drink anything until after his segment. I, I mean, I hate to be that guy. The last time he had something before his segment, he uh, said the F word during Travis Fulgham's name. It was hard to censor out. Everybody was pissed off around the bar, and it was just a mess, and he was a mess uh, after that. So yeah, please, I don't care if he drinks after, but not before this segment. Okay. All right, so yeah, just three polars and, and that'll be it. Okay, got Thanks. it. Thanks. Oh, you got, were you guys recording that? Okay, yeah, yeah, we can roll with it, sure. Welcome back everybody. I'm professional wrestler Chris Wilde. This is another video on Eagles News Now, live from bar 4133. And it is Friday the 13th, a football Friday, just days before the Eagles face the New York Giants coming off of their bye week at MetLife Stadium. And the last time we heard from Allen was before the Dallas Cowboys game. That Dallas Cowboys win, that felt like a loss. I'm sure he has something to say about that. As well as the upcoming New York Giants game, let's go ahead and get to him. Angry Allen, how was your bye week? <laughs> take one shot of that. Yeah, one shot before this segment. He, he said what? Uh, yeah, my bye week's going fine, okay, Mr. Content Creator. My bye week was actually marvelous. Yeah, there was actually a Sunday weekend where I didn't feel like throwing myself into oncoming traffic after an Eagles game. It was great. Yeah, I mean, I actually got to watch the New York Giants and the Washington football whatevers chase after a fumble for 15 minutes. It was pretty good. <laughs> I didn't feel nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was like after five hours of sitting at this bar after a Thursday night Eagles game or that Dallas game. You know, speaking of the Dallas game, that's the last time I talked to you. And uh, to be honest with you, I didn't feel like talking to anybody pretty much for six days after that garbage. I mean, look. They had Ben Danachi, a Ben Denoso, a Ben who cares as the quarterback of the Cowboys, and they were in the game for for all but five minutes of it. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. The Eagles couldn't run the ball. They couldn't pass the ball. Yeah, they looked like my son's peewee football team. I, I mean, it was insane. But really, what really bothers me is that it's Friday 13th today. Yep, Friday 13th. And if I had to watch another game like the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles, I would go camping and hope that Jason Voorhees would lock me in a sleeping bag and beat me against a tree just to take away the misery. It was that bad. As a matter of fact, 
Jason Voorhees should probably take that whole Eagles coaching staff and take them away for a camping trip. Maybe just to get their heads right. Hopefully, after this bye week, that's what happened. Because guess what we see? We see that New York football Giants team this week, and the Eagles supposedly are a lot healthier. You know what that means? That means another week of old man Peters on the line. That means we finally get to see old man Jeffrey. That's right, old man Alshon Jeffrey back in the lineup. And guess what? I got nothing wrong with that. As long as he doesn't take any snaps away from my guy, my favorite eagle this year, Travis Foot. Don't do it. Don't do it. Family show. Don't do it. All right, all right. Travis Fulgham. That's right. Travis Fulgham, number 13. Fulgatron. But really, let's talk about who everyone's talking about. Number 11, Carson Wentz. Carson, listen to me. It's the New York football giants. You've beat them eight times in a row. I watched them, like I said before, chase after a fumble for 15 and a half minutes. You're getting Miles Sanders back. You're getting Lane Johnson back. You're getting, you're getting your whole offensive line almost back. If you can't beat this team, I'm going to introduce you to my sleeping bag, and it's not going to be Jason Voorhees beating you against the tree. It's going to be me. So, is that enough for you, Mr. Content Creator? Because if the Philadelphia Eagles lose to the New York Giants this week, that bottle of tequila right there will be absolutely empty. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Go birds. I'll see you never. How was my bye week? Well, why don't you just hide yourself so the camera can't see you? Uh, <clears throat>